<laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm even more excited than that, if you can imagine, to talk about technology in the future, and particularly how that deals with cities. And particularly what we'll talk about um, is augmented reality. Which one are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm Morris. <laughs> this is Ryan. I know it's yes. confusing. She has the boys, man. <laughs> that, that mistake has been made before. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a little bit about my background then before I get into all that kind of stuff and how I ended up working in augmented reality. Um, I, when I was a small child, I saw many science fiction movies throughout my life. Uh, of course, the big one being Star Wars. And, you know, seeing that movie transported me to dream new ideas and, and new things. And what I wanted to do then for the next 20 years was work in visual effects. So give people that same experience that I had watching that film. Let them experience it. So I worked in visual effects for about 20 years and worked, ended up working actually at George Lucas's company, Industrial Light and Magic, and working on some of those films. So things kind of went in this full circle. But the reason I want to tell you that story is what I'm now amazingly excited about is things are going in that full circle in a new way. And the films that I had worked on in the past that had augmented reality in them, movies like Iron Man where he's, you know, he's in his world moving, the, you know, moving his uh, blueprints around and solving his energy crisis, those movies were now working on that in the real world. So to be able to take a technology that's completely science fiction and work on it in a science fiction term and then work on it in the real world term in a way that can help people and the way we can build tools together is, is what I've become amazingly passionate about. <laughs> now, no matter how advanced technology is, advancing to the next, advancing to the next slide is the real... You got, you ask uh, any, anyone, anyone anywhere, the most, difficult, the most difficult thing to do is advance to the next slide. <laughs> How many people know what augmented reality is? How many people have seen it and understand it? Can I get it? And it doesn't, doesn't count if you saw it in the break room, only if you actually seen it before you got here. Okay, that's a fair amount. So augmented, having been made greater in size or value, augmented. Augmented reality, a technology that superimposes a computer-generated image on a user's view of the real world, thus providing a composite view. And there we are. So to get you a little bit excited about augmented reality, I'm going to walk through a little bit of technology history for everyone. So you can imagine if you go back in time to, there's no television, simply radio. So then all of a sudden the television comes along. Well, what is the first television show? Does anybody remember the actual first? The, show. Yeah, yes. But particularly, the first television show is actually a videotaped radio show. So that brings us to the theory that all technology kind of, in some ways, copies the technology before it. And the reason for that is we're still grasping and understanding how to use that technology. And that's what's so exciting about where we are right now with augmented reality. Television comes along. It's a whole new medium, moving images, information. The web comes along. That becomes a whole mean. Now we've got mobile phones. You can do things like change the slide with it remotely over Wi-Fi. But you can look up information about anywhere in the world from your mobile phone. And now what's been called the eighth mass medium, augmented reality. So now it gets really exciting. You can literally point your device at something and learn about it and interact with it in a way that you never could before. So it's an amazing, exciting time. Um, the best thing to do is actually I'll tell you some stories and, and actually just to show the technology to you. So we'll just do a little demonstration and we'll kind of walk through. Um, so we'll bring up the house lights, and I'll actually walk out in the audience. It's, it's really great to kind of see it and, and hold it in your hand. But in this case, I just have a map of the city, and this is the application that we, that we built for you. But now you can imagine the <laughs> implications in actually using this as a design tool. And many people say, well, what, you know, what, can, what can be done with this? Well, let's say that imagine we're building a wind farm here, and we want to decide, just like Iron Man did in his lab, where do I want to put a windmill? How many windmills do I need? If I put a windmill here, how does that impact, if I live on this hill around the corner, the view of the windmill? And you can actually move around it and, and see from different angles how you would actually see the actual world. Yeah, it's amazing, amazingly fun technology. I'm very, prou I'm very proud of my ta tracking technology. I can actually you know, do crazy things like this and <laughs> somewhat will continue to track. But and this technology has ways that we haven't even thought of yet, and that's what's great to be talking about yeah, to all of you about. So imagine that you uh, take a tour of Ojai, and you can point to buildings and learn about those buildings and how they were many years ago or how they were in the future or take a guided tour of anything. The ability to learn about whatever information you want to, the only the information that you want to learn about, how you want to learn about it, is going to be a whole new world for us. So... As I go about my normal day, I think of things like, uh, let's just say I go grocery shopping and I want to choose an apple. 
Well, I go to the co-op. Anyway, I pulled up an apple. I pointed at it, and I see, well, what, what's important to me? What do I want to learn about an apple? Oh, is, it, did it really, is it really organic? Did it come from here? Imagine you can hold two apples next to each other and compare those apples and see which one is more nutritious versus which one is less nutritious. So there's astounding uses for the technology. We had a discussion where um, yeah, we went on a hike and the medical implications of it. Let's say you went on a hike and a friend of yours uh, fainted or passed out. Imagine you can point your device and it gives you the ability to see the world through an expert's eyes. Imagine you can learn how to put your hands for chest compressions or listen to someone's heartbeat or revive them and live that reality through this application is astounding. Um, the numerous uh, applications as far as any type of education you can think of can be augmented and be a more engaging, involving experience. So any type of math, any type of physics, uh, touching molecules, moving around. Science fiction is now a part of our lives, and it's, it's incredibly exciting to, to be a part of it. But I'll let Ryan wrap up and pull things together in a way that's a little, a little coherent. Yes, hopefully we can do this in two minutes, and hopefully we've inspired you guys enough to be interested in the technology. Um, I think one of the biggest obstacles right now is just getting people out there and realizing its full potential and really experimenting with it. Um, you know, we stand here at TED and the whole idea of a sharing economy and the sharing of information, and we really see this as being the next medium to share information in a much more fun but also engaging and interactive way. Um, you know, so I think our call to action right now is just to never stop exploring and never stop learning and never stop adding these new dimensions because these new dimensions add new layers of information which really is a, a different perspective, a different view of the world, um, a different point of view. And we're excited. This is, uh, you know, technologies like this are literally what help change the world and, you know, quite literally augment it and to make it greater in value and um, the way in which we live. Thank you. Thank you.